and um, how did you end up here at Navy Friends? I was invited to come by Sheila Cook, your fearless leader, and that's been um, something I've been looking forward to. I was I was uh, I participated in your media institute earlier this year, and I think that this organization is so important, certainly to the African American community and beyond, because the journalists tell the stories, they keep us informed, and I am excited about the partnership with NABJ and SBA because this is an important organization to know about what we're doing at the SBA and, and you can help spread the word and it's a great time for people in our community to start businesses and that they can get great support from the SBA. And um, how has it been so far? Well, it's been a great morning. I think that uh, you have a wonderful conference. There's a, a really rich agenda that uh, has been put together, so I'm just sorry that I can't stay longer. Uh, I did have a my here. I was here in uh, Louisiana yesterday as well, and so today in Baton Rouge, and uh, I was at Southern University. So it was great to be at Southern yesterday, come here today. Uh, I was with the mayor in Baton Rouge yesterday. Mayor Holden is actually a journalist by training. Uh, he did a journalist degree at Louisiana State University. He's also um, his law degree at Southern. Uh, and part of the reason that we went to Southern yesterday was to have a roundtable with small business owners. We had over 40 small business owners join us. It's a very good conversation. And then we visited a, um, a building that's being renovated to create space for 12 startup uh, companies, incubator space for 12 companies. And uh, this new building will also house our small business development center uh, that's located at Southern University. That's the arm of the SBA that provides the counseling and technical assistance. And so it's going to be a, a beautiful uh, new building and to be able to to, uh, to tour the space with the mayor and with Steve Tillich, whose who's, uh, firm, Tillich Construction, is doing this fiscal work was really a treat. Okay. Well, in light of the, uh, the layoffs that are going on, especially at the time of CPU, uh, have you seen an increased interest in journalists who are interested in starting businesses? Well, one thing I credit Sheila Brooks uh, with her vision for making sure that the SBA has been a part of the agenda of content knowledge at the um, NABJ meeting is that she's a, she is a noted journalist. She's been in the industry for quite a long time now. She's also a great entrepreneur. And so I think it's um, fortunate for the organization to have Sheila at the helm because she can speak from experience uh, how important it is and what the great opportunities are for journalists to leverage the, uh, their training and to create businesses. Particularly now with the digital economy, I think journalists have a have a leg up, if you will, on being able to utilize the digital platform to create businesses because you are great community. You're trained as communicators. Uh, you know how to use these new tools, and there's just really unlimited opportunities for starting businesses, putting things out on the web, and figuring out how to connect to a broader public.